So they'll shout and it'll be very, very loud. So that they obviously give the alarm for members of the family. That is also picked up by other animals. And as I say, it is a universal language. So they will, no matter what animal it is, there's an animal that lives in the bush and grows up in the bush, they will learn that alarm call of that particular animal and they will know, okay, there is approaching the area, I must be on the lookout. And the more eyes that can see the predator and find the predator, then they're able to keep the predator in the sights for a lot longer. So, as I was saying about the franklin, the franklin was also picking up the alarm call. But the squirrel wasn't, the squirrel on the other side of the road, and they're usually very good at picking up alarm calls. See, that line's probably... Five or ten minutes ahead of us, and there was a set of tracks that came out there. We might have to just go to the southern side, so it may have already come out. Do you remember I heard the monkeys alarm calling quite far off, and maybe they'd been calling a little bit longer than I thought. Really, that line should have come out already. So I'm sure it only took us probably about five, five or ten minutes to finish that block last time. Okay, let's go onto the southern side. Catch up with this cat. Right, they walk, they can actually cover quite a lot of ground in just a few minutes. The zebras have been rolling around here, just bathing. Too worried. Okay. Nice one. Hey! <laughs> Do you know you guys are giving us the runaround? Sure. Mark word. Yeah, 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 we're gonna definitely get a bit closer. <laughs> the other one came from. Aha! Uh -huh. This is actually the two from yesterday. So they must have just split up. Yeah, I'm just going to stay back here, let them get used to us. You can see they've got their heads up. Because the one actually that I did have looked slightly bigger. 
But the the female definitely crossed the road while the monkeys were alarming. I was thinking maybe it's slightly bigger female, but it must have been her tracks that I saw first. Just let the guys know that we've got them. And they look like they've got full bellies, so it looks like they did make a kill last night, especially the male. If you remember yesterday, he looked quite, quite thin. All stations have located the Tuangala on Shaban Road. It's the Madora Mafazi from the sticks by the looks of it. Uh, right next to Shaban Road. That's a primitive. Thanks, Graham. <laughs> okay, now that they've got the heads down, I'm going to see if I can just pull forward a little bit more. As I say, it's so, it's so rewarding if you put so much work in and effort. So I must have just been missing the other set of tracks because I was convinced it was just the one. And I'll say the tracks at the dam did look like they were a little bit larger and I thought they possibly a male but it wasn't really fully registering at the time. But that's obviously why. There we go. You can see much more relaxed. And this time, not even the heads up as we moved. And that's, you do need to give animals a bit of space and just let them relax. Now, if I'd have tried to get this close when we first came in, I think they would have got up and moved away and maybe moved into thicker bush. But the fact that I showed them respect, I stayed where I was, let them get used to us, now they're allowing us much closer. You can see that huge round belly, especially the female and the young male, a little bit further back. They could do with eating a little bit more, I think. You can see that rapid breathing going on there, and that's because they've eaten, and it's going to be creating a lot more heat inside the body. So they are going to be trying to get rid of that excess heat, and one of the ways to do it is panting. You'll often find lions rolling onto the back to expose that thinner skin on the belly, which also helps to cool them off quite a lot too. You can see he's not breathing as rapidly because his belly isn't as full. Now 
Well, the temperatures have dropped quite dramatically from what it has been the last few days. It's quite a pleasant temperature. I'd say probably in its low 20s. What would you say, Ron, about that? About low 20s. I didn't quite catch who was asking that. Heather. So Heather, I think it's in its low 20s which is very pleasant, and I'm pretty sure these lions are quite glad of that. It's always worth sitting with cats that are sleeping because cats that are sleeping can suddenly become alert cats. And especially that male at the back. His belly is not that full, so if there is something that walks by, remember we saw the Impala a bit further down this road. If that Impala walks this way, the wind, just checking the wind now, is actually blowing in their favour. If that impala walks down the road, <clears throat> they'll be able to smell that impala before the, the impala will smell them. And if that young male is still hungry, we may see him try and, and hunt. And it is a myth that males don't hunt, they do. If they have females, <laughs> yes, I'm talking about you. If they have females to hunt for them, then they don't need to waste their energy on hunting. They can go and eat from whatever the females have killed and preserve the energy for defending their territory and mating. <laughs> Is there any other station interest in the Ingala this morning? Thank <laughs> you. 